gotten a lot of requests lately from people wanting me to show them how to make a simple synthesizer with a delayed a delay with a feedback on it so I'm going to show you right now how to make a very simple one with this basic synthesizer what I've got here is the noise making part of the synthesizer a sawtooth oscillator this could be anything I chose a sawtooth why not no pitch going into it gate going into it here you could use an envelope after the gate but this is just your simple your signal flow with that would come out of the oscillator go into here this is your adder your combiner it's going to combine with the delay stuff for forget about that for a second but what you're hearing is coming out of here going into your stereo outputs all this stuff at the bottom that's the delay that's the feedback and the filter single delay right in here you probably recognize this where you find it you go here built-in module let's try that again built-in module down here delay single delay that'll bring you up a single delay which will be this little box right here got delay time that's going to show up here in the panel delay time right there 300 and this is measured in milliseconds 320 now 0.5 milliseconds that's right there this little box with an s is an event smoother you can find that under auxiliary so we go down here built-in module auxiliary and we go event smoother that gives you that all this does is interpolate or average the numbers coming out of here or coming out of whatever control you have between settings it just gets rid of or reduces the stair stepping and zipper noise that are common with digital we need to have a signal we need to have our noise maker our sawtooth feed the delay as well as feed the stereo outputs we need that separate so we can hear both so we got our sawtooth that will come out of here it's going to go to the input here of our single delay we got to have a combiner and adder and by the way you find these under math built-in module math add you're going to need a few of those okay this is going to combine the feedback with the delay or with the uh, sawtooth itself because you got to feed itself or feedback into itself this is fun with feedback here single delay going to go out to the filter that's going to give you a different sound for your feedback than the original digital signal trust me it makes a difference okay so your delay is going to go in here out here into your feedback mixer this is going to control the volume or the amount of repeats the number of repeats out of here into here back into itself hence a feedback loop too loud the whole thing goes berserk becomes unusable too low and all you hear is or nothing no delay I'm sorry that would be in your delay volume all right so in order to make this delay happen we're gonna need some controls for the filter and by the way just in case you guys don't know I'll get rid of this for a second when you bring up one of these little modules here if you need a control you can go and get one of those things built in module panel fader knob whatever that's kinda slow and cumbersome or you can option click on where you want the control create a control or create a constant constant being just a single number whatever number you want it to be At that point it would be 70 this gives you 70 Hertz for where your can where your uh, cutoff frequency would be don't worry about that I like a little variability same way we could go control now we have a P cutoff since I already have that I'm just gonna draw my line back in here see how easy reactor is I've been using this program like five years and I know probably four percent of the program and I've done some amazing synthesizers with it at least I thought they were amazing when I made them and probably three weeks later thought they sucked and added something else to them or took something away but in the meantime the program is so complicated uh, and allows you to do so many things that yeah I can say after about four or five years of this program I know about four percent of how to use it nevertheless I can make a simple feedback loop I can make uh, you know um, some noise makers and show you all how to do the same thing all right we got to control the number of uh, repeats in our feedback loop this is going to be our feedback volume and I'll show you what that looks like here on our panel bring up this real complicated synthesizer it's all you need to know right there delay time in milliseconds delay level this is a negative number all the way up to I give a plus two on the range just to give it a little more beef than a straight signal um, 
that can make your delay signal louder than your original, but it does become useful. So bring that all the way down. Feedback, number of repeats. Keep it at zero. That's enough to blow the top off of it. You can actually make that higher if you want to in the properties box here. Double click on these. It's going to bring up properties. You can change that number to whatever you want. But useful, anywhere from zero down to negative 60, I put. You can go lower if you want. No big deal. Also have controls for the... Uh, the EQ, the filter, your feedback loop filter. This is going to change the sound of only the feedback, not of the original synthesizer sound. So what I'll do is I'll show you a few examples of this. Take everything down, give us a delay time, a nice little slap back here about 100 and, we'll go 110 milliseconds, but you're not going to hear anything but the straight signal. Straight signal. Let's bring up our delay. You're hearing this with virtually no feedback, so it's just the delay and then the, the uh, I'm sorry, just the straight signal, then the delay of 110 milliseconds after. Doesn't sound too interesting, so let's bring up the feedback loop. Bring that up just a bit and add a few repeats. I've got the cutoff wide open, so you're just going to hear pretty much straight signal. The more feedback I have, the more repeats I have. Okay, and that just pretty much self-oscillated, created a usable feedback loop with this at zero. Uh, and I could keep that going here and basically control the volume level total of the delay, which is in here. Sorry, the total delay output is going to go into this here. This is the mixer, and you're going to need a few of these delay or mixer amplifier, and I'll show you where to get that. Okay, built-in module, signal path, amp mixer. I'm gonna need a few of those. There are other ways to do this. This is just the way I do it. It works well for me. So let's go back here. Got the volume now, and that is our infinite feedback loop. Bring it down, bring this down, because that's pretty lame anyway. All right, so what I have here, 110 millisecond delay, a little bit of feedback. Let's go to our filter and you can hear what this does to change things up a bit. What this is doing as I pull the cutoff back is it's changing the frequency. It's bringing out some of the high end frequencies. Some people call this more analog delay sounding. Whatever. You can change the resonance. You can make this baby almost self-oscillate here. Only on the feedback. That was pretty usable for some things. Okay, we can also change the delay time. And now we can have some fun with this thing. Just messing with the cutoff and the resonance and creating a pretty good juicy feedback loop here. Oh, and changing the delay time while this thing is feeding back on itself helps too. So that's pretty much it. Delay with a filtered feedback in Reactor.